What's happening guys? You came back. I appreciate that. So you guys remember the last video where I built this computer. Um, everything went great. It's fantastic. It's been running great for a solid week, but we've got a problem. Oh goody. So here's what happened. My friend has not picked up the system yet. So throughout the week, just kind of waiting on him. I think he'll be here next week sometime. I've just kind of been making sure it's 100% solid for him, uh, testing things, installing the things that I think he'll need, stuff like that. I went to power it on this morning and it no power. So I'm not sure what's going on with it. Um, being a techie for so long, I kind of, my first initial thought is power supply. It's just always something that we kind of test first. I could go find my power supply tester and hook it up and all that good stuff, but I have spare parts on hand. I have another power supply here, so we are going to kind of diagnose this and just kind of figure out what's going on here. Uh, like I said, my experience kind of leads me to believe power supply. I'm not so sure yet. Um, so we're just gonna kind of dig into this and try to figure that out. I'm not actually going to pull this the, the power supply out because then I have to undo all the cable management and stuff like that. If it turns out not to be this power supply, then that was a waste. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just kind of set the spare nearby here and uh, plug it into where everything needs to go and see if it'll power up. As of now, I know you can't see the screen. I got nothing. It's plugged in. I've checked all the connections. I got nothing. So um, we're going to uh, just kind of connect this and see how it goes. Okay, guys, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to unplug the 24 pin from the motherboard. And then up here, I don't know if you can see it, there is a little 4 pin for the uh, power, or not the power supply, the CPU up here. And that should unplug pretty easily. Now I'm just going to take the, pair, the spare power supply. I'm not going to like put it in here. I'm just going to kind of set it to the side here. Pull out the actual cables I need, which is the 24 pin connector to the motherboard and the connector for the CPU. That's really all I need now. I don't need to hook up any drives or anything like that. I just need to see if the power supply is going to power the motherboard enough to kick the system over, so to speak. So, we're going to plug that in. And then we will take this cable here and plug that up into here where that goes. Okay, and that's nice and snug. And plug in the power supply here. Okay. Make sure it's in the on position. And let's see what we get. Well, it actually powered on. Let's see if I get post. And there we go. So, as it turns out, yeah, I know, no keyboard connected. As it turns out, it was the power supply. I guess the power supply was bad, which is. Not weird because it's an electronic component and those things go bad, um, but it's Corsair. I've never had that problem with Corsair power supplies, but I'm not going to be mad at Corsair. It's, it's an electronic component. Things happen. Um, it's still under warranty. I can send it in and get a replacement pretty quick. So, um, so yeah, Corsair, I'm not mad, but get it together, man. But uh, yeah, guys, so that looks like it was it. So. What I will do is I will go ahead and send an RMA through that. I got it through Newegg. Um, I'll probably just have him ship out another one, be here in a couple days. And like I said, he's not here till next week. So I'll have to untangle everything, go through all the cable management again. Actually, I won't since it's a modular power supply. I can just unplug, put the power supply in and plug those right back in. So um, that actually shouldn't be too big of a deal. So anyway, guys, that's it. It went uh, a lot quicker and easier than I had thought, which is good. And that's it. So we will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe.